Hey, I'm Mikey and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV. Tonight we're at the Fan Club here on Granville Street for Stand Up and Dance 2. Now in its second year, it aims to bring awareness to mental health, particularly when dealing with violence and abuse. This year they've teamed up with Light It Up Purple. So tell us about tonight's event. Uh, so tonight is all about um, creating awareness around mental wellness through creativity. Last year's event was a success. I got to raise a ton of money to bring to women down in Kenya with HIV and I taught them sort of healing through movement. What I'm doing here tonight is bringing everything together through music, live music, my DJ's music, I've got Aji painting live, we're going to be doing some dance performances, there'll be a fashion show, so it's everybody sort of using their creativity with what they love. This year I've had my own bout with mental wellness, uh, having been a victim of date rape, so that in itself for me has been like, how do I bring it in? What makes me happy? How do I heal? Where do I need to be? So like just letting that out, letting it out in the studio, letting it out in class. These are all the ways that I have learned how to heal. I want to share it with other people. Now Carol, tell us about Light It Up Purple. Light Up Purple was, um, is an awareness campaign and it was brought about by, I call it the angel anniversary of my daughter. She took her life on October 10th of 2012 and so, you know, we're thinking of ways that we could remember her. When I found out it was also World Mental Health Day, I just co-joined the two together to make um, an awareness campaign and to put some positive in otherwise a sad and tragic kind of date for us. And it's been quite amazing what you've managed to do in two years. I mean, you've got almost all of Canada embracing this. So the first year we got a few places lit up. We got places in Vancouver, um, PC Place and Science World and the Olympic Cauldron and a few buildings. And in Toronto we got the CN Tower and Niagara Falls and Toronto City Hall. This year we got the ones that I just mentioned, plus we got the Santa Monica Ferris Wheel and the Seattle Ferris Wheel. We got Los Angeles Airport and we've got cities actually to sit down and proclaim October 10th as World Mental Health Day. We have the Toronto Argonauts sharing it on October 10th. We have you know, tell us sharing it. Patterson Group is kindly displaying World Mental Health Day on 200 billboards across Canada. The challenge out there is for everyone to find a billboard, take a photo of it, tell us the location, and let's see if we can find all 200 in Canada. What we want is to create the conversation so people can go, why is everything purple? And just to bring attention to it. So that's what we need is more attention to an issue that we don't talk about. And if someone really, really wants to help and support, email us and then we can always find a job. So tell us about the Ball of Human Kindness. Well, the Ball of Human Kindness started November 22nd last year during the commemoration, the 50th commemoration of JFK. So it was the visual to say, listen, we are all sometimes doing things that we're not proud of, but then let's pick it up. All these issues are things that we don't talk about. We really don't like talking about mental illness. We don't like talking about suicide. And we definitely want to pretend that there is no bullying. I teach four basic things. Become an active witness. Two, own your uniqueness. Three, dare to step into who you are. And last but not least is dare to be kind. And if all goes well, either by the end of the year or early next year, I'm going to bring the ball to President Obama. I want to also bring it here in Canada. I want to bring it to London. I'm going to do more than just one government. And if everything goes well, I'm going to come back at the end of November to Vancouver after the elections. And then uh, I'm going to do the unveiling of the documentary. Well, it's been an inspiring night here at Stand Up and Dance 2. It's in support of a growing issue that's touching the lives of many people. So look out for these courageous women as they keep changing the world around them. I'm Mike Evers, and you're watching City Lights on Novus TV.